I'm making this video to uh, demonstrate my process for making some bridge pins, wooden bridge pins for acoustic guitar. I'm not making this uh, video to uh, advertise my bridge pins because these are not for sale. I'm not making these to sell. I'm not making this video to to make money. Uh, if you see a commercial on here, YouTube put it on there, not me. I'm not getting any money out of this. I do this just to pass on some knowledge about what I do. So, that out of the way, uh, these bridge pans, I, I've uh, experimented with them for years and making them out of different uh, materials, different kind of woods and bone and micarta and corian and about anything I could get my hands on but I won't uh, talk about the difference they make in the tone of a guitar that's something you need to determine for yourself but uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about people comparing bridge pins and so forth and I won't get into that uh, it's uh, player's decision of what sounds good to their ear and on certain guitars I think uh, wooden bridge pins take a little of the twanginess out of it and give it a little more bass but that's just my opinion and I'm not trying to force that on anybody but here's some dogwood I made some bridge uh, banjo bridges out of dogwood for years and this is some I split up several years ago so I'm going to turn it down into some blanks to uh, to turn the bridge pins out of. Here's a blanket I've already turned. Well here's my homemade uh, jig that I fixed up to turn the shaft on it. It's a five degree taper. Some of these bridge pins are three degree taper. I prefer the five degree. Now here's another little jig I made and turned down out of brass and it it just holds these end pins. Drive them up in there and uh smooth the pots of them down. Lady grit paper on them. Go flat. It's a UHMW or whatever. I believe it came off of a cutting board and got it to Walmart. But this is some 120 grit right here. Here's the 320. 
there's a basic shape of it. Now we got these bridge pins back over here on my main workbench and we're going to just clean that little ragged stuff off of the off of these things. What we're going to do is going to taper the bottom of this right at the slot. It just kind of discourages it from hanging up there. All right, that's pretty well got them made. Sometimes I'll dip them down in a little clear lacquer or. Uh, that uh, water-based polyurethane does real well on them. But they don't really need any protection. It makes them kind of look a little shinier. But that's my process. I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching it.